I did get you. <laughs> this is my Thanksgiving. It's all the Hickory Farm stuff. Which I love Hickory Farm so much. In stores now. Mm-hmm. Got it at Winco, in fact. I love it when the little kiosk pops up in the mall. Cause, yeah. I mean, it's just so fun. Yeah. I love the big packages that they come with that have all the fun stuff in them. I always get Hickory the Farms. Little boxes, little sam- yeah. sample boxes. Yeah. I always get Hick- Hickory Farms for people for Christmas because it's, personally, it's something I would love to get. So I have to assume they'd want it too. Sure. You know? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's how I give gifts. Right. I would love this. Click, buy, here you go. <laughs> right. Yeah. And I think most of the time I'm right. Yeah. Yeah. Although my I gave my dad Hickory Farms one year for Christmas and I was like, hey, first off, my dad never seems excited for any gift, but no. there have been a couple <laughs> when I've got a twinkle in his eye. One of them was when I bought him this really amazing, it was like a second piece for this big toolbox he bought. It was expensive AF, uh-huh. but it was like the perfect, like it matched his toolbox perfectly. It was like a whole additional piece that sat on top, like a writer. And How thoughtful. Oh, it, I did good that year. That's, I was going to say, that's uh, w- one of the things on my list of what to get the man who has everything. And maybe, you know mm-hmm. what, next week we'll we'll address that mm-hmm. and talk about that because I'm brilliant and they're amazing ideas. They are. But is mm-hmm. you, get, you get him an accessory of what his favorite thing already is. Right. So that was a brilliant. Yeah, I to- thought it was really smart. And I just remember like when I pulled it out for him, cause I, I couldn't wrap it. It was too big. Uh, but when I pulled it out and gave it to him, I just remember him kind of having this little tiny smile and just a little twinkle in his eye. And he's like, this is really nice. I was like, yeah, I know. Thanks. <laughs> but I remember this one year I gave him a big box full of hi- like Hickory farm stuff. And he was like, Hey, thanks. You know, no biggie. Just kind of threw it on the counter with kinda, the other stuff. Kind of. Put it with all the other things. And I finally said to him, I was like, pop, do you not like Hickory farms? And he's like, yeah, not really. And I was like, oh, what? Who doesn't like Hickory Farms? Right. It's Who just... doesn't like? Nobody doesn't like Sarah Lee. Right. That's what I don't get. Yeah. So anyway. I was blown away when I realized, by the way, that slogan was nobody doesn't like Sarah Lee instead of nobody does it like Sarah Lee. Oh, okay. I think they use a double negative in a coy, clever way. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Or I, I might I be part that. of the problem is spreading information, <laughs> misinformation, disinformation on the internet. Well, we can always correct it ne- next Deliberately episode. Deliberately and maliciously spreading disinformation. <laughs> We're fake news. <laughs> if you're, and it happened again, by the way. What? Just a thing we talked about hitting a major news outlet. And, and but this time, this about? time they were like two or three weeks late. Really? Uh, about the uh, Starbucks and the Dutch Bros in Rexburg. Oh, really? I, we, They're just getting to we, that. Ju- yep. Oh, we okay. Ju- we we broke that news. <laughs> Whatever. Isn't it funny though that Rexburg is getting not one uh, but two actual coffee shops? Right. Well, and to be fair, I know that they have a local coffee shop up there. Okay. Um, because the owner came into my retail shop down here not too no long kidding. ago and was telling me about it. And I was like, do you get pretty good volume up there? Because I think with all the LDS kids, you probably wouldn't sell that much. And she's like, no, there are tons of people coming in and getting coffee all the time. Well, and I would say from so, a um, from a market research perspective, mm-hmm. you know how they do before right. they launch a store in a particular market, mm-hmm. meaning city or town or metropolitan area. Right. They do their research and they go, what? Dude, this, this Idaho Falls, the Idaho Falls area is kind of weird to begin with. Idaho Falls is the biggest city in the nation without... A college. Right. Or a university. I guess we've that's got, true, huh? We've got ISU in Pocatello, U of mm-hmm. I, of course, in Moscow, BYU, Idaho, and Rexburg, but Idaho Falls doesn't have, we've got CEI. We do. And we do have branches of both ISU and U of I. Yeah, they must go, we, well, Rexburg needs a coffee shop. There's all these college students and no car. Are you kidding? We'll make a mint. <laughs> oh, it'll be fun. And and right. by the way, the market researchers made totally the wrong call when they researched Chipotle. And instead of putting, they should have put it in Idaho Falls, but right. instead they put it in Pocatello. And didn't it go under? Maybe I it's think back. It did. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah. We I, should really check that before. Hey, market we go. researchers, just ask us. We'll tell you what'll do well here. Right. <laughs> 